A warm welcome to AD4 TV Radio News Extract coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I am Jessica Ochai. A counter-terrorism expert, Amechi Nwokolo, says police brutality mirrors the Nigerian society. Nwokolo, who is also an intelligence analyst, adds that the situation persists because perpetrators are protected while victims do not get justice due to the slow and skewed legal system. The analyst spoke exclusively to AD4 TV radio in the wake of the NSAS protest in the country. Look, it's the mirror of the Nigerian society. Where do we, did we get it wrong? One, the country where the rule of law does not have its way. You understand? You kill somebody and they'll say, you heard them, so many complaints people said, I'll kill you and nothing will happen. And nothing will happen. Yes, nothing will happen because the, 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 the justice system is so skewed, so very, uh, what's the name called, slow, even in some cases when you want to go through that avenue. It might take 10, 15, 20 years, endless, and there's no justice. And some of them are shielded by some people they are protecting. Look, if you see the, our policing the way it is, even the DSS, I, 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 I quite feel so, so crazy, so annoyed. I tell my students, I have thousands of DSS students in the counterterrorism program we're running, and I said, you're just uh, 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 an organization that, yes, they are doing quite a lot at the background, but most of them are very keen at protecting the elite. And that is what our police has been, you know, created for right from the colonial inception to present day. It's about protection of the elite. So sometimes the elites come in and cover up. And even the police hierarchy knows that. So that's why it's not of importance to be carrying that person to court. How many people in the whole thing, except when the president, that's President Buhari now said sometime, is it going to happen sometimes a few days ago that oh, they are going to look for all the guys that committed these serious crimes mm -hmm. since how many years have they been caught? Okay, in fact, let me tell you, you um, Fulani, like Fulani to... Kwajafa, mm. the one who created SARS, came out today and said he regretted. Mm. That's it for AD4 TV Radio News Extract coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. You can join the conversation on our website at www.ad4tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at 84 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84 TV Radio as well. Many thanks for watching. I am Jessica Ochai.